Hi there everyone, it's Sarah here and I have another project for you on behalf of Wild Orchid Crafts and their YouTube design team, The Wild Bunch. It's been a couple of weeks since I've done a project um, but I've got a couple on the go um, I'm working on and this one that I finished at the, the weekend. So um, I'm just going to move this up out the way a little bit until I get my project. Okay, now this is what I've made and hope you can see this. It's a little um, gift bag and it's got a little box at the bottom that I handmade and I'll take you through this in a wee minute. Um, I've got one of the butterflies there and I've filled it full of flowers and I made some handmade flowers at the ends here. These are just the hydrangea petals twisted with a little one in the middle and a rose. And then we've got the back and another one on the other side. Now I've edged this in stickles, um, orange stickles. And we've got the little butterfly with some, um, some of the rhinestones in the centre, the amber rhinestones. And then we have it finished off at the top with orange gingham ribbon and a little orange tinged open rose there and I kind of kept it with warm and neutral colours on the inside um, and this is going to be a giveaway so if you leave a comment um, on this video then you'll be put in towards the draw for winning one of these. Now I also made another one, this one's just got flowers in it but I made this one too. I might need to put the camera back a little bit for this one. This is a bigger one and it's got more stuff in it and there's a ton of flowers in here. I'm giving you a kind of sample of most of the flowers that Wild Orchid Crafts stock. Um, and they're also in the bottom section here is filled with lace and seam binding and of course the baker's twine. <coughs> And what I did was I made a couple of handmade flowers at the end here um, with some buttons and there's some flowers that one's just slipped down a little bit but it's filled full so and it's tied with seam binding as well at the top so if you wanted the seam binding off this there's enough there to go on a project so I'm going to put these here for now and I'll let you see where I got the inspiration from last week I bought a piece of carrot cake believe it or not and this is what it came in and I thought oh <laughs> as you do um, that would make a nice little project so I took it to bits and I drew the template and I did a, a prototype which was this one and you can see I, s I made scores where I shouldn't have made scores and what have you to start with and at the sides so that was my kind of prototype. So from there um, I went on and made the the green stripey one and then I made the orange one and I do have another one on the go which I started last night but I've not quite finished yet because I want to fill this one full of Halloween flowers. Now what I've done is I've done the little um, the little box and built it up and then this is one of the Tim Holtz die cuts where I've added some of the 10 millimeter foundation roses to the bottom and what I plan to do is fill this one with black and purples and uh, Halloweeny colours so um, this one I need to order the flowers first so this one won't be finished for a couple of weeks but if you watch out on my blog um, there will be a giveaway for this one and uh, it will be filled with Halloweeny coloured flowers so that was that and it also put a green rhinestone in for its eye and it, it turned out quite well I really like it and I think it will be smashing when it's finished and then all I used was um, one of the card bags to pop this inside and I'll let you see how I did that I think it's Hang on. 
filling it with flowers and popping it inside this bag and it doesn't want to go in the bag. Hang on. Oh, you wouldn't believe this, would you? There we go. So that's it in the bag. Took me long enough. And then it's just a case of... i pull that back a little bit. Scrunching the top. And you know how there's like an adhesive strip around the top? I just cut that off with the scissors once it's tied. Um, but what I'll be doing is I'll um, try and get some, oh you can see me in the bag, hi everyone, um, I'll try and get some black lace and stuff for this as well. So that's my little project and it's amazing what you can make out of leftover packaging really, I mean that's where I got the template. So I hope you'll all make your own and uh, and have fun. You can fill it full of treats for the kids um, when they come trick or treating. You could make it with patterned paper. There's all sorts you could do with them. Uh, and I'm quite sure the kids would love to get something like this when they come trick or treating round the door. Obviously not covered in flowers, but um, so I have two giveaways for YouTube just now, and this will be a uh, giveaway on my blog in a couple weeks' time. So keep an eye on that. Um, so don't forget to check out all the uh, the girls' other projects on the, the YouTube channel for Wild Orchid Crafts because there's lots and lots of good projects there. And also visit Wild Orchid Crafts for all your flowery needs and all your embellishment needs. And I'll hopefully see you back here next week with another project. I have a mini on the go at the moment and uh, and it's coming along quite nicely. So I'll share that with you next week. And uh, I'll see you all soon. Bye just now.